Hey, what do you guys notice about these coquina clams or donax clams? You see the green? See the green on them? They say green works in the uh, springtime. These clams turning green. Holy cow, you could totally take these home and make a, a seafood stock. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Mike Cook here, St. Augustine Sandman. I'm going to Destin, Florida. Um, Fish Bites is having a competition, the Shoreline Showdown for uh, Pompano and Whiting. And I'm just, I'm not, I'm not in the tournament, but I'm going to go and hang out with everybody and fish and do the best I can. Guys, this is not a big channel. It's not a big YouTube channel. We like to keep it small. We like to keep it local. But I'm branching out. I'm branching out into Destin and we'll see what happens. This is going to get crazy, okay? Lots of famous YouTubers are going to be here doing stuff, so you might see somebody you know. All right, let's go catch some fish. It's a sweet. For those of you guys wondering what happened to my buddy Nick, he was on the channel. It's for all you OG Sandman channel watchers. I found him. He's here in Destin. What up, dog? What's up, man? How's it going, boy? Yeah, man. God yeah. dang it, you look good, man. Yeah, dude. <laughs> look at this guy. There he is. We found him. So he's now working on a boat. What are you doing on this boat, anyway? Uh, we do it all. Are you doing... Uh, oh, you're offshore. Offshore fishing. Yeah, man. 65-foot catamaran style. Wow. 49-passenger boat. Wait, so you, the YouTuber or people who are watching YouTube can book this thing? Absolutely. Destin Princess, go to DestinPartyBoatFishing.com. Oh, man. So now he's... <laughs> that, you're living the life now. Yeah. Yeah, so if you want to go on a uh, offshore trip, you can book this boat right here. I think you can take your entire family and their friends. Absolutely. We do uh, open and private charters. Okay, so Destin Princess, that's you. Yeah. Check that out. Hey, and you're right next to AJ's Oyster Bar. Oh yeah. We'll, we'll be there this week. Actually, I, actually, we might be going there Friday. Tomorrow, you might, well, right. right. You might even take me on this thing. Hold on, wait, maybe I'll keep the camera rolling, huh? So you, you can book this thing. Yup, so this is yesterday's trip. So the boat caught 160, uh, we call them mingos out here, but vermilion snapper. Back home we call them beeliners. Yeah, beeliners, they call them mingos? Yeah. Mingo. Um, Flamingo. Yeah, All right, pink. I ten guess. per person is the uh, bag limit. Usually we limit out, but yesterday it was pretty sporty out there, about five foot seas. So we only had half the boat really fishing. It looks good today. Yeah, um, in the harbor, it looks good. <laughs> uh, yeah. yeah, here's starboard side. Everybody lines up, drops. Got All your rod holders going on here, dude. This is sweet. <laughs> There's fish in the water right there. Yeah, those are catfish. Those are big catfish. Mm -hmm. Holy crap, every those are then, big. Every now and then you'll see some reds down there. I don't know if you can see that at home, but. Port side, this is the side I always work. And here we got the main one. Because you're, you're important. That's right. <laughs> he said he works port side. Fly wells, where we keep all the bait. And... Squid. Boston mackerel in those tubs. Oh, okay. He's got more. Here we go. Oh, man. No air conditioned cabin. Trolling lines. We always troll on the way out and the way in. Wahoo. Tuna. Wahoo and tuna. It's got a beautiful view, too. It's my office. Sure beats the last job you had in. Uh... <laughs> almost yeah. died. All right. All right, guys, I was trying to fish by the house. Impossible, completely impossible. It's really loud here. I'm by the highway. Found this spot. I'm, I'm not going beach cart. I'm just going, I'm just going with this golf bag again. It's the only thing that seems to be working. So I'm, I'm gonna hoof it. Hopefully, we're gonna find some fish or an area I can fish. We'll see how it goes. This might be riddled with surfers, it looks like. But uh, we'll, we'll see what we can do. The other areas all along Destin. Do not try to fish Destin, I swear. Holy cow. 
every piece of property is owned all the way up to the beach I guess now they passed a law where you can't fish in between certain condos and condominiums and uh, resorts and things you got to get off you got to get out of there so that's what we did we drove far away from the house we're staying that's what I just did and uh, I'm by myself right now nobody's here yet all the all the people are coming later but we're gonna head out here that's it we're just gonna head out here and see if we can get on some pompano before everybody else gets them all that water looks super duper green I love it so I'm gonna cruise until I can find somewhere I can fish actually that's looking pretty good there's nobody over there <laughs> I just scored all right, I'm going over there. See all those, that whitewash over there. That looks fantastic. I'm gonna see if I can get a bait out into that. This could be good. I'll stake in my surf hippie fishing. Surf, surf hippie fishing. <laughs> Sand spikes, I got, I brought two of them with me. Pushing in and let it rip. I like this little groove it has. It has a groove right here. You put your uh, spinning reel right in there. So it's springtime. A lot of times I like to use green and chartreuse and yellow. You know, people call green chartreuse. But I like to use yellow and I do have a yellow Sandman float rig. And back home, I don't know about here, but back home they're popping off on these yellow. So I'm going to end white. Yellow and white are really hot right now, and green. So I'm gonna go with my yellow floats, float right on the hook. This rig pairs nicely with a uh, sinker guy Sputnik. That's what I use. Send them out, launch them out, it's great. It's got a coast lock on here, you just push the lock open, slide the sinker on, and just snap it closed. You're, re you're ready to go. I've got the pink pink clam I think it's clam it is <laughs> pink clam sometimes it's shrimp pink clam I got the easy flea scent I'm gonna start with this just gonna cut off a little piece like this like I always do man this is the same nothing's nothing's different tiny little pieces it works this rig this rig is designed for fish bites like or, or any any kind of small bait Small bait catches big fish, guys. This is a size two watt circle hook that goes through here. And that bait will float up just like this. Floats right up just like this. It's the first thing they bite is that. So get some, get some right away. I wanna introduce you guys to one of the most famous surf fishing YouTubers that there is. His name's Fred. I finally met Fred. What's up, little man? So first you gotta ask yourself, how does it look? How does the water look? It looks gorgeous. Is it pompable? Is it fishable for pompano? I call it pompable. I made up that word. I like that word, so I use that word. And then, when you got the fish on the line, does it feel pumpy? Does it feel pumpy? <laughs> you gotta make up all these adjectives for uh, pompano fishing. I keep checking, I'm, it's right behind me. This is the most beautiful water I've seen in a long time. It's beautiful green, it's clear. Definitely looks pompable. I just, I'm waiting to get a bite. Swimming in. Swimming in, baby, what could it be? Yeah, casting deeper was the ticket. All right. Oh, baby, man, a ladyfish. Oh, oh, Fred. Oh, now you're coming to play Fred. Ladyfish, okay. The bottom pink, whoa. There you go, shake off the hook. You know what's funny about these ladyfish? They're not very ladylike, because they, they poop. They poop all over the place. Ah, oh, not very ladylike. 
Can you handle this whole thing? You got it? You got it. I think we still got him. I think we still got him. Come on. Come on, baby. We still got him. We still got him. He does not want to come in. Here we go. I think we got ourselves a Pompano. Pompano! There we go. On the float rig, on the yellow float rig, on just a clam scented fish bite. Let it throw. All right. He is a keeper. He's a uh, 12. Right on the 12. Yeah. He's a sandy guy right there. That's a sandy guy. First Pompano in Destin. Woohoo! Yeah. That definitely felt Pompey. Definitely <laughs> felt Pompey. All right, we got a fish on. I think it's a pop. It's running like a pompano. Yeah, it is a pompano. All right. On the bottom one again, the yellow with the clam scent. There's a lot of clams on this beach. They like this yellow. All right, let's see what we got going here. Trick to keep them not uh, squirming. Cover their eyeball if they stop squirming. This is a keeper. He's, uh, he's 12 inches. 12 inches to the fork. I love these pompano. Beautiful, beautiful pompano. I love when they're all silver like this. There you go. See you. This might be a ladyfish. Oh. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Come on, baby. It's shaking. It's shaking like crazy. Let's see, let's see, yeah. It's doing that tarpon dance. Doing the tarpon dance. Ladyfish. Ready? Go get it, Fred, get it, Fred. Hey, get him, Fred. There you go. There you go. He's gonna clean them. <laughs> yeah, so the reason I chose clam scented fish bites is there's so many coquina clams or donax clams, whatever, whatever kind of clams you wanna call them. There's so many of them and they all look broken like they've been eaten. And inside the belly of Pompano, if you look, most of the time there's coquina or donax clams inside that Pompano. So I decided to use clam scented fish bites today because of that reason. I'm not seeing too many sand fleas. There are sand fleas, but there's not that many. So I decided to switch from easy flea to clam and clam is picking them off. We got surf hippie fishing in the house. What's Actually happening? out of the house. What's happening? Yo. Yeah. Beautiful weather out here. Y'all need to get out here and come fishing. <laughs> what'd, you, what'd you get now? Oh, those are big ones. All right, look at these guys. Yeah. yeah. There's usually big ones in here. Dang. Yeah. Look at the color difference. Right? Oh, yeah, they're white. Yeah. You can tell they're getting all the junk out of the sand here, eating all that sand. Those are filtering through. Oh, this dude's got antennas up. Oh, yeah, he does. My eye. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Reminds me of SpongeBob, one of those characters. Yeah, you know, yeah. They got the eyes, you just poke him in his eyes. What's like, his it. name? Uh, I don't uh, know, Mr. Plank Krabs or Plank something. Yep, that's who it is. A Pompano kid just caught a Pompano. That's a Pompano? That's a Pompano, dude, in that tiny little Pompano. Look, look at it closer. Doesn't it look like a Pompano? That's crazy. It's a baby Pompano. You did it. Hey, it's not legal size, though. I know. <laughs> yeah, that is called a baby Pompano. Okay, so this is the dock. A private dock we get to use and this is all salt water coming in and we think there's some redfish underneath the dock I have some sand fleas I'm gonna take one of these live sand fleas I'm gonna put it on this jig head like I would while I was baiting it out in the ocean 
Check it out. Right through this tail. Boom. Right through there. It doesn't count if you don't say boom. Okay. Now we're just going to drop it in. See if we can get on a redfish or something. See if there's any by this. Oh, immediately hooked up. There we go. Let's see what my drag's doing. Oh, my drag's pretty tight. Which is probably good. That's a little better. Ah, oh, little redfish. Sweet. That's freaking cool. Sand fleas from the surf. Ooh. Hey, 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 calm down. Caught our first dock fish. This little redfish. Oh, and we got our bait back. Cool, it didn't fall in the water. Sweet. Yeah. Little redfish. Check it out. One, two. Oh, see? One, two, three spots. We'll get this guy back. Heck yeah, dude. This is the best house I've ever been at. Go ahead and rehook that bait again. Same bait. Let's see if we can catch another redfish. Right by the pylon, let it sink down. Oh, it's getting hit. Yep, stolen. Ha! I'm running out of bait though. Should have scooped more. I can go back and scoop more. Free bait is the best bait. Let's get a bigger guy. Man, this guy's slippery. There we go. Ah! No! Oh, live your life. Lucky. He's not going to make it long right there with all those redfish. There we go. Make sure you get that barb through the sand fleet too, because that way it'll get hooked by the fish. Or the fish will get hooked, I mean. Oh, there's a school of redfish right here. So I'm gonna toss it in front of them. Oh! They <laughs> ate it. All right, monster redfish, let's go. Ugh. They're tearing it up. All right, here's what we're gonna do. Give me one more sand flea. I'm gonna add a piece of power lime. There we go. Let's see this guy get nailed. They will not be able to resist this now. They'll take the whole thing. Guaranteed fish caught right here. Got him. We got him. Another redfish. Woo! Told you, guaranteed. Yeah! Yeah, baby, yeah, yeah. Oh, all right. These are not the size I'm looking for, but you know what, I'm catching fish, man. Everybody else, I don't even know what they're doing right now. I have no idea. I'm in a house with uh, 16 people. They're all trying to surf fish right now. I'm out here on the dock just catching fish. See you later. Power line. Let's send that power line back. Let's see if it does it again. Power line and just a jig head. That's all this is. Well, I had a sand flea on there, but here we go. No sand flea this time. Just power line. Here we go. Just got hit. Boom. Got him. Power line only. Changing species. All right. Pinfish. Is this thing on? Yeah, it's on. Holy cow. All right, now this is actually a good bait. I might keep this guy for bait.
There we go. Am I rolling? I don't know. That's a fish on right there. Red fish. Hey. On. The paddle tail this time. We're changing it up. Same jig head though. Same jig head. Man, they're tiny guys. These are not big, but I tell you, it is better than not catching when you go out of town. We are catching. Look at this, they ate the tail off. I wonder if it'll still work. Let's see here, let's do a little jerk bait underwater. Oh, got hit immediately. Oh, Brian's got it. What do you got? Try and, let me get him over here on the to sand the so I don't have a net. I don't know how to get his hook. Pretty, pretty little fella. Hook right in the corner of the mouth. He's hooked pretty good. Nice. All right, All right dude. Let's get him off of here. Let's get him back in. And he's going to stay right there. Oh, there, there he goes, goes. <laughs> to the next pylon. Nice catch. Cool. That's not a fish on the board. Well, mind the lawnmower noise, but Liam just casted this cast net out, and it was like a perfect donut. God. Hold on. We're going to wait for this guy to go over there. All right, tell us what you're doing, man. All I just do is just put on this, make like little donuts, and then... I just put it in my mouth and then swing it. You just swing it? Look at that. Nice. Get all these carts. I'm gonna get the boat set the hook in the cap. I'll show you the dog. We're in the house rocking. Hanging out. How do people fish? Oh, yeah. Do you approve this message? Uh, ask me tomorrow. <laughs> What's up? How you doing? How you doing? Hot dog. Hot dog. Get it, Richard, get it! Yeah, and the outside ones are made to do that. I do like the music of this in there. Oh, guys, I gotta head home. I'm gonna let these guys do this tournament. I'm gonna head home. It is pouring rain. It's churning and burning. The water is churning. Yeah, I'm gonna let these guys fish this tournament. I'm gonna head home, go play some music, and uh, good luck to the best fishermen. This, I mean, this area is getting hit by a tropical storm right at this moment, and the tournament's tomorrow. The water's gonna be pretty muddy and dirty and stuff, so they're gonna have a hard time finding clean water. But uh, they're all pros, man. They're all pro. They're gonna do it, and uh, I'll post to. Who wins? Um, guys, keep it reeling. We'll see you next time. And thank you so much for subscribing, sharing, all that things. The subscribing really helps my channel grow. So thank you so much. I'll see you next time. Cash payouts in uh, surf tournament history right here. I believe so. Uh, but all these sponsors made it happen. The Florida Insider Fishing Report with Rick Murphy. I think Dave Farrell's out there somewhere walking around. We got a Kuma. Uh, DS Custom Tackle, the Sinker Guy, Benji's Beast Fish, Over the Ball Rods. I know a lot of fish have gone on the Over the Ball Rods this weekend. Coach of Sunglasses, Ega Jime, Allison's over there, real love. She can tell you all about that very humane way to kill fish. But let's talk about a few things that happened today, all right? We had to disqualify a few people today, all right? When they measure the fish, it's 11 inches. It sits on ice for five, six hours. That fish is gonna sink, uh, is gonna shrink. All right. So when you measure your fish, make sure you measure it before you bring it to the board. And 
fished in these conditions. We know it was a little tough. And thank you again uh, for your patience and understanding with us having to move the date because of the weather. But we truly appreciate um, everybody being here. Second place, Pompano uh, with a 1.87 pound Pompano. Where is Ellie Reed? Ellie! Ellie. Awesome. Great fish, Ellie. Yes, the reeds are definitely dominating. All right, let's let's pause for a picture. We are fish on, baby. Here we go again. With me, say, say.